first possession in the hands of Carlos Marais. And Gola will get it over the half court. Ivory Coast settled down into man-to-man -man defense. Mingus will hand it off to Marais. Marais guarded by Conate. Costa in the low post to Ambrosio. Ambrosio rises over Herve Lamazana. And speaking of rising, Stephen Conate skies for the rebound. Even a rebound applauded by this crowd here. The yeah. way a basket normally is. Stay with us throughout this one. Touch pass inside to Mohamed Kone. Kone, a little jump shot from two feet. It won't fall. Marais with the rebound in the open court. All behind the back. Marais to the basket. He lays it in left-handed. What a start to this game. Marais behind the back for Lamazana. Six out. He's blocked, but a foul is called. Well, Lamazana was cherry picking. He got the long pass, went up for the dunk. And Ambrosio went up for the block shot. He commits the first foul of the game. There's the long pass to Lamazana. He goes up for the dunk. And Ambrosio says, uh, you're not going to dunk on us today. No, it's a good foul. Angola have got depth in the front line. The two starters, Mingus and Ambrosio, really aren't, aren't the main scorers. They'll bring in um, uh, Richie Moore and Gomez as the two scorers off the bench. Yeah, they do really have strength and depth. The Angolans uh, strength in every possession. Milton Barros comes in off the bench. He averages double digits, as does Carlos Olmeda. So it's an Angola team that can grind you down with the depth and talent they have. Cipriano on the wing for Angola. Armando Costa, he's a pass first point guard. He can shoot it. Pass to Marais, knocked out of bounds. The question Angola mark. have nine seconds on the shot clock. Well, the question mark for Costa is who's going to dart on the defensive end? He's not great on the ball. And all of these Ivory Coast uh, guards are very good at getting to the ring. And there's Costa. And there's one of what very well may be many block shots to come by Herve Lamazana. Diabate draws the foul on Ambrosio. It is his second. We'll see if Coach Macedo stays with them or if he'll go to the bench early to get Ambrosio out of the game. Ambrosio just a little bit late on showing on the ball screen as we look at a well time block by Lamazana. Tornate to bring it in. Here's Diabate on the wing. For the bounce pass to Mohamed Kone. Kone skips it to Aboyo. Aboyo three off the mark. Long pass ahead to Marais. Marais to the oh! basket. Carlos Marais. He's telling Lamazana all about it. And as I said before, he is one of my favorite players. He's got a bit of everything. We've seen it already off the dribble. Attacks and finishes at the ring strong. Here's Aboyo at the top of the key. He'll circle, loses the ball. Good defense. Who's going to pick it up? Who wants it the most? Aboyo on the floor. Five on the shot clock for the Ivory Coast. Diabate going to pull up from downtown off the mark. Kone keeps it around live, and the ball ends up in the hands of Kanate. Diabate with another three. Aboyo with another rebound. Lamazana to the rim, and he's fouled. And if it's on Ambrosio, which it very well may be, it's his third. And that, like I said, I don't think that will worry Angola too much. Perhaps their concern, you know, is just the rotation. Just they're going to be without one of the guys to rotate in and out. But Gomez comes in. And as you've said so many times, Gomez, through history, has been one of the, the best big men ever produced on the continent of Africa. So they're not losing a lot by bringing him in, that's for sure. It is Ambrosio's third. He does take his place on the bench. And Lamazana misses the first free throw. With his characteristic headband. He's a real character of the game and a fan favorite. He makes it one of two. Angola with an early lead, 4-2 here. It's the black antelopes of Angola against the elephants of the Ivory Coast. Mingus loses the handle. Mingus going to pull the trigger on a three. Why not? Knocks it down. Yeah, Mingus is coming off a you know, disappointing game for him. He struggled in the last one. Uh, just two of eight from the field. Five points and two turnovers in his 18 minutes. You're a brave man if you can shoot a three on the Angola side because Marais, Cipriano, and Costa can all shoot it. Oh, Cipriano was open. Mingus looked him off, so all is okay because he scored. And now he commits the first foul, does Mingus.
Abuyo up and down screen from Kone. Here's Diabate. Trying to give a touch to Lamazana. Great defense. Lamazana with a mismatch on Costa. Great defense from uh, Angola, though, because they knew exactly what uh, Ivory Coast were looking for on the out-of-bounds plate. They took it away. Perhaps someone's got to get a little closer to Kone, though. Apart from that, everything was good. Kone makes a medium jump shot. Here is Cipriano on the wing. He'll go inside to Gomez. Gomez draws the double. Mingus going to go to the basket this time. Left it short. Ball on the floor. Gomez comes up with it. He hands it to Mingus. Mingus gets Lamizan off his feet, moves it on to Cipriano. And Cipriano makes a three. Cipriano is stroking the ball from the three-point line. Seven of 15. The ankle showing no signs of bothering him yet at all. Lamizana faces against Gomez. His finger roll is an air ball. Here's Costa in the open court. Costa through the gears. Costa to the rim. Great decision. We talked in the last game about, about the point guard play, the tempo control. Costa is very good at that. We see him there. Change of speed. Recognizes the space, the opportunity to get all the way to the basket. But, you know, the majority of the time he'll be under control. He'll be a bit slower down the floor. Happy to get them into the half court. It's about the control of the game. So running when you have the opportunity, getting the half court set and the execution when you need it. Armando Costa to the line. He knocks down his first free throw, the number five for Angola. He's enjoying his fourth African championship. And we have a violation as Mingus is in early. So the Ivory Coast will Take possession on the mixed, missed free throw. Angola lead 11 to 4. Angola extend her defense up the floor. Lamizana to the basket. Good stand by Mingus. Good Good advised shot by Lamizana. Great D again. Smart defense from Angola. Here's Gomez in the low post. He's gonna bang with Lamazon. He gets Lamazon off his feet. I thought surely it was a foul. The referee on the baseline disagrees. Costas passes off the mark, so it's a turnover to Angola. Right hedge, Gomez forces Diabati to go all the way back into the backcourt. Canate rises for the three, it just grazes the front rim. And here go Angola in transition. It's a four on three. Mingus to Costa, Costa to Marais. Marais buried in the corner. Here's the ball reversal to Costa. Another interception here by the Ivory Coast. Diabate this time reads the pass of Costa. He'll give it to Kone to trailer, and Kone shoots an air ball. That is on a quite an emotional character. And you see what Angola do here. Costa directing traffic. There's Gomez, screens down to pass. Really off the mark, Marais does well to catch it. There you go, Lloyd, right into Gomez. He goes at Lamazana, kicks to Cipriano. Cipriano shot off the mark, and this foul is going to be on Gomez over the back. So they did exactly what you thought, Lloyd. Gomez, though, instead of taking Lamazana on the dribble, chose to kick it to Cipriano. Not a bad option, to be honest. No, Cipriano lost his balance a little bit. It was, it was fading away on his heels. Apart from that, that's a, a pretty good look. It's going to be fouled. Um, it's going to be the bonus already. So he's taken the long walk. Angola with five team fouls. Herve Lamazana to the free throw line. He rattles the first one in. Number nine. And he goes one for two there at that trip. Uh, Cipriano gathers the rebound. Cipriano in the corner with a head fake. Now he'll step back and pull the trigger on a three. That won't drop. Kone with the rebound. Here's Canate. And great defense by Armando Costa. Yeah. Costa, you know, on, on the ball in one-on-one -on -one situations, usually isn't a very good defender. Where he is a great defender, though, is in team play. Reads passing lanes very well. Picks up steals that way, and also is a great help defender. I was on it from the baseline. Either team can really get their shooting going. And Stefan Canate knocks it out of bounds. Stefan Canate really works hard on both ends of the floor. 
real leader of the elephants. And he's got the task of trying to contain Carlos Moraes. Gomez on the baseline. Mingus with another three. That won't drop. Costa can't gather the rebound for Angola. Here's Diabate. He is stripped by Costa. Moraes. Moraes fouls. Is it going to go against Lamizana? It is indeed. So it is Lamizana's first foul. Yeah. And it's uh, three turnovers already against the Ivory Coast. Seems they're usually so good at looking after the ball. Make sure they do the same. Costa. Oh, he knocks his three down on the yeah. handoff from Gomez. That's the type of thing he can do. Armand Costa knock it down with the feet set. Pop Amagu off the bench. Played a very, very good game in the Ivory Coast quarterfinal win. Over to Cameroon. Lamy's on it, gets both feet in the lane, and now travels. It's Coach Lescano, the perplexed look. Well, the backcourt uh, combination of Diabate and Amagu played well for the Ivory Coast. Diabate with 19 and Amagu with 10. So great to have him coming off the bench for the Ivory Coast. Yeah, absolutely. Is they're going to go into the 2-3 zone now? They go to the big lineup. Kone and Zerbo on the inside. The danger is Angola have got three, perhaps four, major threats from the three-point line. All three guards shoot a very high percentage. Gomez is shot off the top of the backboard. Touch pass inside to Zerbo. Zerbo good and finished an easy look inside. And here's Costa to Almeida, who's checked in off the bench. And Carlos Almeida touches the ball for the first time and threads a three. What did we say? They've got three high-quality three-point threats from the perimeter. Very dangerous, and they're bringing in two more as well. Mingus commits the foul, and that is his second. So the two starting interior players for Angola in foul trouble. Ambrosio with three, Mingus with two. Yeah, much. Uh, coming in is Reggie Moore, who's an offensive talent now for Angola. Yeah, there'll be disappointment that Mingus has picked up number two. As we look at Almeida burying the three, but... As I said, I, for me, this is the best front line for Angola with Reggie Moore and Gomez on, on the floor anyway. So I don't think they'll be too concerned. They'd rather Ambrosio and Mingus have fouls than these two, that's for sure. Already, uh, Coach Lescano has been warned on the bench as well. He thought it was uh, an offensive interfe uh, defensive interference on the last play on the Kone miss. Amago goes one of two from the line. And uh, we've got a violation here. So Pop Amago will get another shot. Violation against uh, Milton Barros, the Angolans. And so uh, Amago makes Barros pay. But Angola with a 10 point lead here with just a shade under three minutes to play in the first quarter. Angola have got out to a lot of hot starts in this contest. That man's helped them build on leads. Barros hitting the three. And Pounding people on defense. Sumahoro with the rebound for the Ivory Coast. It's going to be a nice matchup here, Bate and Barris. Well, Barros gets the better of the first one. Gomez to the basket. He's fouled by Sumahoro. Lucky not to be called an unsportsmanlike foul, that. Not sure if there was much intent to play the ball there. But look at the defense from Angola. Absolutely superb. Forcing. Ivory Coast out of what they want to do. You know, they're forcing it to the side. They're keeping it there. They're making them go one on one. And then what they're able to do, you know, some teams are able to do that, but then the Angola can then contain that one on one as well. Joaquim Gomez, a two time All Star Five selection in the African Championships. He was the MVP when these championships were held in Angola in 2007. And he gives Angola a 12 point lead. The rotation. Angola so well prepared against that wing pick and roll. Ray split, Amagudo. First time they managed to get anything off the pick and roll there. Amagu with a great split between the showing man. And the uh, man that's guarding him. 
So Zerbo will step to the charity stripe. And he gets two shots. Tomeas Zerbo, a new member of the Ivory Coast national team, joined the squad this summer. And that looks like he needs to get in the gym and work on his free throw shooting form. He's only been to the line four times in this tournament. He's made three of them, so usually a decent shooter. The second one looks far better. Ivory Coast settled down into their 2-3 zone. Angola trying to pick it apart. After the way Angola spread the floor. Use that high-low. Almeida kicks it out to Barros. Barros is shot off the mark. Gomez with the rebound. Reggie Moore pulls the trigger with one second on the shot clock and threads it, Reggie Moore. Well, we said that three or four, he's the fourth. Reggie Moore can knock it down from the three-point line. Again, the defense from Angola is so good. Zerbo with the rebound and he is fouled by Carlos Moraes. Moraes with just his first foul. Yeah, the one concern on the defensive end for uh, Angola, four offensive rebounds for the Ivory Coast. This man Zerbo's done a great job, he's got two of them. He's got to knock them down from the line though, just to keep them within touching distance. They want to keep, keep the game close just to keep the crowd into it. So Zerbo misses two, Kale tries to keep it alive. And Jonathan Kale, a real workman-like player for the Ivory Coast. Does all the dirty work inside. There's Barros. Gets it over the half court line. The Ivory Coast change their defense. They're back in a man to man. Good recognition by Angola. And a high low pass from Gomez to Carlos Alameda. Alameda earns a trip to the line. Great job. A seal from Almeida. Al Amigu thought he was going to come to the three point line. So he tried to deny, and what Almeida did was he just held his position, and Gomez threw a beautiful pass to Almeida, who was on the inside. Carlos Almeida enjoying his seventh African Championships of basketball. 36 years old, we saw a 35-year-old in the game which preceded this, while Bader made a lot of free throws to seal the win for Egypt down the stretch, so the old guys showing they can still play. Angola love to use that trap to get the ball out of the point guard's hands. They do it successfully. Look, we're at 10 seconds. Offense hardly started for the Ivory Coast. Gomez steps out hard. Pass to Zerbo. Zerbo goes up. And Gomez with the block. And he wants to tell Freya Zerbo all about it. It's Zerbo's first ever African Championships. And Gomez saying, hey, look, I've been here before. <laughs> Two seconds on the shot clock. Oh, what a great play inside by the Ivory Coast, but Sumahoro can't convert the layup. Excellent execution. Moore with another wide open look. That draws the front rim. Pop Amagu, one on three. Wisely holds up and waits for his teammates. Tricky pass to Diabate. Diabate's push shot. Barros with the rebound. And the coaching staff for Angola wanted to slow it down and work the clock. There's about a five second differential between shot clock and game clock. Barros tries to go to the basket and then he commits a foul. So uh, not the best from Milton Barros there. No, absolutely not. Try to get after it, try to keep possession alive. Silly foul because it sends uh, Cote d'Ivoire all the way to the line. The positive, perhaps, is that this Zerbo, who's just one and four from the line, that he's fouled. Zerbo makes his second free throw. Zerbo born in Burkina Faso, had the chance to play for uh, the Burkina Faso team who were here at these African Championships for their first ever time. Declared for the Ivory Coast. He makes both free throws there, so we heard you uh, call him out, Coach Gardner. 
drops both free throws. So the Ivory Coast is going to extend pressure up the floor here in the last 8.8 uh, .8 seconds of the first quarter. Good call. They've got to be careful not to foul. All they want to do is just try and take time off the clock, force Angola to use up three to four seconds just to get the ball over the halfway line. Almeida brings it in. Almeida crosses over to the basket. Great defensive stand by the Ivory Coast. Yeah, Silva Mahoro did a good job on the ball there. Exactly what I asked of him. Didn't get beaten. Almeida, Almeida take time off the clock, just bringing it up the floor. So we've got 1.4 seconds left in this one. Hervé Lamazon is going to throw a prayer, which goes into the first row of the audience. So at the end of one quarter of play, it's the Black Antelopes of Angola 23, the Elephants of the Ivory Coast 10. Starts on the wing. He'll get a screen from Kale. Great defense by Angola. Here's Eddie at the top of the key. Eddie has his pocket picked by Barros and fights to get it back. Shot clock at five. Amago, his shot is forced, and Angola making it very difficult for the Ivory Coast. Moore in the low post, trying to back down Jonathan Kale. So patient. The extra pass to Mariah. She's step back three. It bounces over the top of the backboard. Gomez keeps it alive. Mariah has had his uh, jersey shredded in the last loose ball. Moore with a crossover dribble. He just loses the handle. So Jonathan Colley with a good defensive stance there for the Ivory Coast. So last 12 times down the floor, the Ivory Coast have failed to come away with a field goal. Can they end that drought here? Here's that wing pick and roll. Key Eddie to the basket. He can't get his shot over the front of the rim. Marais, little touch pass to Moore, just a little bit too high. Eduardo Mingus trying to check back into the game. He's going to go in for uh, Reggie Moore. It really is not hard to hear, Lloyd, that uh, Mingus was shouting out Moore, and Moore couldn't hear him. Although sometimes when, you know, there's some waiting, you don't want to hear <laughs> yeah, him anyway. He, he heard him fine. Don't worry about that. He just didn't want to come out. Uh, yeah, it shows you that. And, and this is, of course, a 13-point lead. Wait. And so the Ivory Coast take a lead in this one. Eddie with the up fake. Now he'll throw a little leaner in. Uh, just won't drop. There's a lid on the basket mm. right now for the Ivory Coast. He's got his man in the air, and then he stayed where he was. He shells a fake. Put it on the floor. Attack the basket a little bit harder. Ivory Coast trying to dig in defensively just to keep themselves in this. They trail by 13. Cipriano and... Armando Costa come to the substitute bench here in front of us. Barros with his three, that won't fall. Barros shot very, very well in the game against the Cameroon. I beg your pardon, the game against Morocco. Kale fakes the handoff. Draws the foul. Yeah, Barros struggling a little. He has been that spark coming off the bench defensively and shooting the ball perhaps not being the same spot today so he'll go to the bench and this is the depth look at it from the uh, Angola they bring the two starters back onto the floor Costa and Cipriano Amagu his scoop shot won't drop and the rebound by Jonathan Kale and this is what Jonathan Kale does to work hard for you on both ends of the floor getting balls off the glass. 
Second foul against Gomez. First time they really messed up. That pick and roll defense allowed Amagu to turn the corner. So the foul problems starting to uh, have a little bit of concern for Angola now. Just across that front line, Gomez, Ambrosio, uh, Mingus all have the two. Perhaps they might have to go even deeper into the bench in this first half to bring in you know, the youngster on their team in uh, Felicidio. 23-12, Costa at the point now for Angola. He'll make the entry pass to Alameda. Angola, reverse the ball. Charles Aboyo in for the Ivory Coast. He's trying to keep Cipriano in front of him. Mingus is up fake. Good defense here by the Elephants. Cipriano shot. Oh, Cipriano, unbelievable. He had two Ivory Coast jerseys near him, and he still wow. drains a three. Wow, what a shot, Cipriano. I thought that, you know, the uh, Ivory Coast offense, uh, defense had him under control there. Did a great job as Cipriano still managed to bury the shot. Roy, the Ivory Coast lacked real fluency on offense. They're trying to get that first screen and roll to get them something, and they haven't moved the basketball particularly well. Yeah. No, it's absolutely right, but I, I think that's, that's the defense. And, and what will happen now is with this lead, you can almost sense the, the tension in the air that the Ivory Coast, their offense is going to get quicker and quicker as they try to desperately get back into this game to uh, please the crowd. Alameda. Travel, yeah. Yeah, just stuttered those feet as he took the pass. I think that's a good call. Ivory Coast really struggling on offense. Here's Lemizana on the baseline. That shot it never really got over the front of the rim. Uh, but you see that Angola are fine with that. They, they let him shoot that shot. They don't want him to put it on the floor, use that quickness that he's got. Cipriano high off the glass, won't drop. Lemizana. Ahead to Amagu. Amagu in transition. Nice step around the defender. And this foul is going to go against Angola. It's on uh, Alameda. So Aboyo to the line. And Lloyd, this is where the Ivory Coast are getting their points from, from the free throw line. Pop Amadou makes the first free throw for the Ivory Coast. In his third African Championships. Diabate checks in, back at the point. Stephen Kanate back in for the Ivory Coast. They have four of their five starters on the floor. And Charles Aboyo just has to be so much smarter here. It's a, a hold against Carlos Almeida. Yeah. Well, Aboyo didn't like it because he took an elbow, but if you see, it's, it's his arms that are out, first of all. And Almeida's just making a meal of it for the referees to see. Costa's medium jump shot rolls out. Diabate. Ivory Coast struggling to get anything in transition either. Kale wants the ball in a low boost. Diabate's runner, he got it. The left-handed runner ends the drought. The first basket for the Ivory Coast in a long, long time. I think that's where the weakness defensively is for Angola. Costa on dribble penetration, and with Diabate, he's got to attack him. So now, is there a chink in the armor of the Angolans as the shot from Almeida goes over the basket completely? As Costa getting beat on the dribble again. Fourth team foul on Angola. Carlos Moraes checking here in. Just the first foul on Costa. And Alameda will check out. Eleven points in it. Diabate tries to step in between the two Angolan defenders. It's a kickball. So Ivory Coast will get it with 14 seconds on the shot clock.
Ivory Coast with just really one option on that sideline out of bounds. Defended well by Costa. And Gomez comes out to be replaced by Reggie Moore. Diabate uses Lamas on his screen. Great defense by Moore. Skip cast to Boyle. Boyle runs into Reggie Moore. Lamizana can't tip it. Kale with the rebound. Kale powers it up and in. And now it's down to single digits. Just nine points in it. Great tenacity from the uh, and Ivory Coast team there. There's a steal by Diabate. Diabate in transition. Can he finish over Cipriano? He can. And the Angolans want a timeout. It's down to seven. The crowd has gotten back in it. So man man defense from the Ivory Coast. Moore at the top of the key. Marais on a good curl. He just somehow inexplicably missed a little shot inside. Did all the hard work to get himself over in the curl and just missed the layup. I think he's going to go off the glass on that. Just use the backboard to finish. Instead, he tried to go with the finesse there. Scoop it in. Just a little bit long. There's Diabate. Diabate rises for a three! Knocks it down. Solo Diabate. There's four points in it with four minutes to play here in the first half. From the crowd reaction, you would have thought it was a game winner. Mingus from the elbow. Mingus knocks down the medium jump shot. Tough shot from Mingus. Canate on the wing. Moore steps out. There's the pass to Lamizana. Spins. Lamizana to the basket. And got it. And that's Lamizana at his best. Yeah, it's poor defense to Mingus that time. They allowed him to go. Didn't want to commit the foul. Should have gapped a little bit more. Here's a steal by Diabate. Diabate's going to lay it up and in. And there's just two points in it. 28-26. And the crowd have become a sixth man in this one. Right now, Angola playing against six elephants. Now off the ball pressure, the denial, and the reading of the passing lane. Very good from the Ivory Coast. Moore trying to steady the ship for Angola. Going to back down Lamazana. Moore in the lane. His left-handed push shot, no good. Aboyo skies for the rebound. Here's Diabate in the open court. Diabate through the gears, and he draws the foul. And this will send Solo Diabate to the free throw line for the Ivory Coast with a chance to tie it up. Angolans come together on the court. They need to just need to regroup here, take the crowd out of it if they can. Good adjustment from the Ivory Coast. And for me, I, I would go away from the high pick and roll, the wing pick and roll, and perhaps just leave Diabate on his own, the space to try and attack against Costa. Diabate having a fine second quarter here he's got 10 points now Diabate with 19 in the win over the Cameroon it's 28 all Jonathan Kale imploring the crowd to continue to make their noise Costa in the low blocks looking for a pass Moore with a cut loses the handle we're gonna foul on Jonathan Kale Armando Costa Lloyd having a strong word with Reggie Moore. Yeah, because they came off the horn set, Costa, and he uh, he drew the defense to him, he drew the showing defender, and nobody dived to the basket. He had an open man if they had uh, run the players drawn up. Reggie Moore, the first American ever to win Angolan citizenship to qualify to play for the national team. Had a good chat with him uh, the other day, and he was really relishing this atmosphere. Well, he got what he wanted, and he makes two free throws, re-establishing Angola's league. Angola with the press up the floor, just take a couple of seconds off the shot clock. There's Kanate on the ball. Oh, Kanate leaves Marais, and then was stripped. 
And you're right, Lloyd. Armando Costa did a good job keeping the ball out of the hands of Solo Diabate. I think that's what the 2-2-1 press does as well. It gives it out of the hands of Diabate, and then Costa can deny him the ball back. That helps their defense a lot. Lamizana hands it off to Diabate. Lamizana from the baseline. A jump shot, line drive. He's got to make that shot because uh, Angola are going to give it to him the whole game. They'll let him shoot that whenever he wants. See if Moore dives this time. There he goes. Cipriano. Moore, the left-handed shooter. Oh, Reggie Moore knocks down the three. Big shot from Reggie Moore. Crucial time for Angola. Just to steady themselves before this halftime break. Avoyo to cut. There's a two-on-one at the back. If Kale can attack the basket, he does. He rides a bump for Moore. And Kale puts it up and in. Jonathan Kale made an excellent substitution for the Ivory Coast. He has six points. And Lloyd, the first time you saw him, you were impressed with his game in, in the opening game for the Ivory Coast and their win against uh, Algeria. But um, he has been a kind of forgotten man in the last few games. Yeah, well, he had 10, 10 uh, double figures in both the first two games. And then since that point, he's only scored eight points in the last three. So that shows you that Calais hasn't been the one we saw in the opening couple of games. Mohamed Kone in for the Ivory Coast. Here's Cipriano. He's got the mismatch against Kale. Kale picks his pocket. Jonathan Kale to Diabate. Kanate the trailer to the rim, finishes. 33, 32, one in it and one to play. And this is the first half of the second semifinals in Afro Basket 2013. Here's Marais on the flare screen. Marais left with space. It's three, no good. Charles Aboyo, Aboyo coast to coast, plays it up and in. An uncharacteristic miss from Carlos Marais. And the Ivory Coast have got themselves ahead by one. Kone with a foul on the top of the key against Mingus. It's only the third team foul for the Ivory Coast. Wow, we've got the noisemakers, the drums, the maracas. All adding to the atmosphere here in the Pelades 4. Sideline ball for Angola. Moore against Kale. Kale, another good piece of defense. Here's Costa, gets away with the travel. Mingus from eight feet, it won't drop. Kale with the rebound. And Ivory Coast get it across in 15 seconds. They'll have the last possession of the game. Diabate on the ball with Costa. Costa knocks it out of his hands. Diabate. Aliyut! Stefan Canate! Puts up the Ivory Coast by three points. And once again, Armando Costa lets Diabate get by him. And that Aliyut really raises the roof here in La Palais de Sport. That's basketball African style. Here it is again. Diabate with the Aliyut and Canate with the flush. Well, a well-rehearsed play by those two players. And as both teams go into the changing room, the Ivory Coast have a three-point lead, 36-33. Leonel Paolo comes in for the first time for the Black Antelopes. He's just joining us, it's Angola in red and the Ivory Coast in white. Ivory Coast in man-to-man -man defense. Here's Marais with the left-hand dribble, rises to lay it up, it won't fall. Gomez picks up the rebound. Custo with an open three, gives it to Mingus. Mingus knocks down the three. We're knotted up at 36 each. Nice. Shut the ball well from the perimeter, hasn't he? Uh, Mingus. Gerardo Mingus moves himself to eight with that one, second three. 
Ivory Coast come out with Diabate, Kone, Kanate, Lamizana, and Aboya with his three off the mark. Costa's got to force Diabate to use that screen. That's where he's got help. Costa, a little crossover, drops a pass inside to Mingus. Lamizana with another block. Angola have Costa, Mingus, Moraes, Gomez, and Lina Paolo, who start the second half for them. Canate back to Diabate. Angola extending pressure up the floor. And Mizana catches it in the heart of the defense. Stripped by Lina Paolo, who dives on it. And possession will go to the Ivory Coast. Good right. defense by Lina Paolo. Yeah, very good defense. Got that long arms. Been involved in the play. Tipped it away, got the tie up. So they'll get possession again next time. So 14 seconds on the shot clock for the Ivory Coast. Diabate off Kone's screen. He draws the double team. Somebody must be free. It's Lamizana at the top of the key. Aboyo runs into two uh, red jerseys. Marais picks up the loose ball. It's three on three. Marais fouled by Diabate. I think that's the difference on the defensive systems down there. Angola, could, there's certain things the Ivory Coast don't do very well. For instance, they don't have a big that can shoot the ball. They can extend that range very well at all so Angola know that and they'll give that shot up whereas you can't do the same thing going the other way Gomez and Mingus have both shown they can shoot the ball Marais earns a trip to the line the referees figure he was in the process of beginning the act of shooting Diabate disagreed Carlos Marais steps in line Makes the first free throw. He pays for the Petro Atletico of Luanda club. He's scored double figures in every game of this tournament that the Angolan team has played. He's on his way there for another one now. He's got six points of those two free throws, but he's been quiet. Hasn't got that three-point shot going yet at all. And he's on it again, finds the middle of the press. Angola recovers so quickly, so active on defense. Costa with a big steal. Costa lays it up and in against Diabate. Very good defense, Armand Costa. Again, that press just to get the ball out of the hands of Diabate, working very well. And we see a strong start to a half yet again. Kone with a good up fake. Aboyo with a wide open three. Got it! Charles Aboyo. One of five players from Abidjan playing in front of his home crowd. Marais starting to take the game over. He can't convert that. Diabate up in a race as he rides a challenge by Costa. Costa lucky. And it wasn't an unsportsmanlike foul as Alina Paolo was running back to help him out on defense. Smart foul from Costa. See here, knows exactly what he's doing. Just trying to stop, stop that transition score. Stop the crowd getting into it. Unfortunately, that's his third, though. Kone in a low post. Gonna bang with Mingus. Good spin. It's buried at a bad angle to the baseline. Good defense by Mingus. Gomez goes out Lamizana. Lamizana. Lamizana flops. Gomez misses the shot. We'll see if Lamizana is warned for that. Oh, great fake by Mingus. Lamizana with a block. Here's Kanate with the ball. Kanate goes out, Lina Paolo is in charge. Great defense. That's why Paolo's on the floor. In many ways, he's, he's not as good a player as someone like Cipriano, but he just gives a completely different look. Um, Lina Paolo, he's shooting an incredible 86% from the field through this tournament because all he does is shoot, is, uh, is shoot dunks, basically. They're the only shots he really takes. And it's things like that defense, that long, really athletic guy on the wing. Marais uses his body well to shake free of Kanate. Now he'll use Gomez's screen, and he threads a three there. And that is classic Marais. Yeah, I said he hasn't got that three-point shot going. Watch out. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire, if he starts to get it going, great D, Gomez. Gomez leaves it. Costa! Costa fouled by Abuil. 
It's the first time that trap's got a steal, really. But it, it, what it does, as I've said, it gets the ball out of the point guard. And there you see the steal comes because Aboyo's handling the ball rather than Diabate. And so the Cote d'Ivoire have to come up with a strategy to figure out how they're going to combat this 2-2-1 uh, or the trap on the ball. Great unselfish play by Joaquim Gomez. Who hits Costa trailing behind the play. Armando Costa misses the free throw. Costa plays for the Primero de Augusta Sports Club, the first of August club. Just one of three or four clubs that these players play for. So Diabate now with the ball in his hands. The Ivory Coast trailed by four. Aboyo trying to get it inside to Kone. Excellent defense by Angola. Kale off the screen. Kanate, shot clock at two. Kanate has to really shape his body to get that off. Again, excellent defense by Angola. Gomez kicks it ahead. Diabate read the pass. Oh. And then Moraes just comes back and takes it away from Jonathan Kale. Wow, both, both ways. Fantastic defense. Gomez open. Watch out. Moraes skips to the lane and lays it up and in. They beat Egypt in the group. Both of them are semi-finalists. They beat the Cameroon. And now they've run into another quality opponent here in Angola. Pop Amadou, another ball handler in for the Ivory Coast. I don't think they need that screen. I think they can attack without it. Because the ball screen is something that Angola are just able to trap and get it out of the hands of the, the guards, therefore taking away the advantage they have. Angola defending the high screening roll very, very well. There's a push on Charles Aboyo, and that is his fourth foul. The crowd is a little bit quiet here. Aboyo replaced by Tonate. Marais, Marais finds space, he kicks to Costa. Costa's shot short. Mingus comes up with a rebound. Costa, the consummate point guard, organizes, calls the play. Nice pass to Gomez, which was just deflected by Kone. Gomez was open. Marais, little jump start to travel. Excellent call by the referee. As he Dragged his feet. Ball in the hands of Diabate as the Angolan defense retreats back in the half court. There's Amadou off Kale's screen. Diabate, top of the key. He'll go at Costa without the screen. Here's the open man and Kale, baseline jump shot, around and out, wouldn't drop, Kone keeps it alive, Kale comes up with it. Diabate lays it up and just won't fall. And Costa, bounce pass to Paolo, Paolo in transition. Great stand defensively by Amadou. Great F on the boards. Uh, eighth offensive rebound for Angola, that one by Mingus. Marais, his shot long off the back rim. Paolo with the rebound. Costa resorts things out here for Angola. Paolo drops a pass to Marais. Marais inside. The shot contested. Can the Ivory Coast score on the break? Into Kone. Kone up and in. Count it. Well, the Ivory Coast really struggling for a quality outside shooter to loosen up this defense of Angola. Yeah, that, I mean, Kale is probably the one guy from the, the bigs that has that extended range. I think that's what they're missing, the big that can shoot, because, as I mentioned, Angola are able to, to trap and double and get the ball out of the point guard's hand. And unless you've got a big that can shoot, their rotation can cover the basket and then slowly come out to the big or cover basket first and then come out. So it, do the Ivory Coast have any strategies? You know, unfortunately they can't pick with the guards because 
Uh, the Angolan team were too smart. They would just switch that. So it's it's going to be interesting to see. Do they go away from the pick and roll? That's what I, I, I would do. That's what I think Kyrie Coast might have some success with. Barros and Cipriano come in for Angola. Costa and Moraes go out. Mingus, Gomez for three. That won't drop. Now a chance here for Diabate in the open court to make something happen for the Ivory Coast. This pass caught by Barros. It was a poor pass. Cipriano to Mingus. Gomez fills the trail spot. Skip to Barros. And Barros maybe is getting himself going as he rattles home that three. Yeah, he didn't hit it in the throat first half, Barros, but this is a man. He's shooting uh, 58%, 7 of 12. No, excuse me, 35% on the tournament, 7 of 20. Amadou got his wires crossed with uh, Sumo Horto. Pass went into the Ivory Coast bench. Ivory Coast are still hanging in, Roy. They're not playing particularly well, of course, all credit to Angola's defense. That's what it's about when you're not playing well. Stay in the game, give yourself a chance deep into the fourth quarter. Paolo, strong drive, couldn't finish. Kale keeps it alive and then gathers a defensive rebound. Yabate on the wing. Kale open. Kale from 18. Got the Kale in and out. Amagu. Sumohoro rises for the three. That's short. But he gets his own rebound, stays in bounds. That's the Ivory Coast all over. They really struggle to have a quality outside shooter. Kone, he's got an open look. You can see how Angola just back off of him, but he makes a pay. Yeah, they're going to give that shot to Kone. He's got to catch it, shoot it in rhythm with confidence. Gomez. He's going at Kale. Kale commits the foul. Kale looks gassed. Yeah, he does look out of gas. Absolutely yeah. right. Lemmy's on and ready to come in. He'll come in for Kone. And Guy Eddy comes in for Diabate. Even less in outside shooting on the floor. Now for Ivory Coast. Eddie's struggled with that three-point shot in this tournament. He is um, shooting just 25%. As we know, Lamazana doesn't really have that extended range. So Amagu, who's also not shooting great, at 13%. And Eddie in the backcourt. It's really only Sulemohoro that has shown a consistency in shooting the three. He's on the floor at the moment. He, Eddie gets it across the half-court line. Kale picks it by. Great read by Barrows as he stole the pass intended for Kale. Now we talk about you know the tempo control there. Pushed it, see if he could get anything easy. Couldn't, and so now they're going to go to the half court set. Barrows comes off of the diagonal screen, draws the foul here on Eddie. It is the Ivory Coast are in the bonus, so Barrows goes to the free throw line. Barros had 11 points in Angola's win over Morocco. This is where he's struggling. 58% from the line. Barros, a 29-year-old, plays for Inter Club Luanda. Missed the first free throw. This is the second. We've got a violation here against Mingus, so end line ball for the Ivory Coast. They trail by five. Lamizana with a good screen for Amagu. Spacing not great for the Ivory Coast. Sumohoro, Gi Eddy. Good check out by Mingus. Does enough to put the shot off. Lamizana with the rebound. It drops and one. When you're struggling to score, Lord, you need those offensive rebounds to give yourself a chance to keep, keep putting points on the board. That's it. The dirty work, the hustle plays can win you the game. 
Great work from Lanazana. Lanazana's free throw rolls in and out. Three point difference with one to play in the third quarter. Cipriano on the wing. Mingus picks and pops. Cipriano is fouled by G. Eddie and a poor foul to give up. Yes, because you put him on the line. That's, why, that's exactly what Cipriano would have wanted. Shipped to the line as he was driving. Cipriano, a member of the All-Star Five in Afro Basket 2005 when that tournament was held in Algeria. Makes the first. Chance to push the lead to five. Cipriano. Angola haven't been good from the line. Just 11 for 18, 61%. Nice. Worse than Ivory Coast today. Ivory Coast, the worst free throw shooting team, or one of the worst in the competition. Look at the tenacious defense by Barrows. Yeah, he's going to make sure he doesn't foul now. 30 seconds to go. Five on the shot clock. Good pass to Lamazana. Lamazana couldn't get a hold of it. Sumohoro's three won't go. Pop Amagu got into the heart of the Angola defense, but the pass is a little bit too strong. So. Angola with a chance to tack on more points as we close the third quarter. There's 10 seconds in it. Barros goes at Zerbo. Here's Gomez. Gomez kicks to Cipriano. The three's on the way. It's there. But what a finish to the third quarter from Angola. How? Barros with the ball for Angola. Here's Cipriano on the wing. Cipriano trying to break down Eddie. Cipriano shot. Long rebound. Angola won it more. Barros comes up with it. Barros is injured. It looks like it's a shoulder the way he's coming off. Let's hope it's not dislocated. He's really dragging his right shoulder. You can see he's in some discomfort. Cipriano on the wing. He'll use Mingus as a screen. Gomez to Cipriano. Cipriano working the clock. Just trying to find space for that three. Good defense by Gietti. As the three is off the backboard and out of bounds. Three officials have done a good job today, haven't they, Liam? They have, and as to the officials in the previous semifinal, there were some uh, tense moments, as well as the Senegalese fans, a little bit over-exuberant, but the referees handled it very, very well. There's the press still from Angola, Eddie. The impact of Paolo as well, off the bench, very good especially defensively, played the whole of that third period. Sumohoro. There he is again, again. look at that day. Paolo, look at the, look at Paolo. He stops the drive and he picks up a loose ball. Cipriano in the open court. And Gomez with the presence of mind to throw it off to Rea Cervo. Oh, so smart. And Gola plays so hard. You know, they break at full tilt, yet they're so under control at all times. It, it really is, you know, a, a joy to watch. Gomez inside. Good execution on the inbounds play, and Gomez will get himself a trip to the line. Now 
You see first team foul on the average goes in the first personal foul on Zerbo. I don't think, Lloyd, that uh, the Ivory Coast can play without Mohamed Kone much longer. He can at least make the odd jump shot. Still plenty of time in it, but Ivory Coast is struggling for any sort of fluency. Just been completely bottled up by this Angola defense. Yeah. Ramizana to the basket. And he scores the M1. Now that's the way to break it if they do. If um, Lamazana can put it on the floor and finish. He has got an advantage, but the difference is he's not used to having the ball in that situation. You know, usually that's a guard, and Lamazana's the one that gets the pass for the finish. What Angola are doing is forcing it into the hands of Lamazana, who's not used to taking this role on. And that's how you beat a press, isn't it, Lloyd? You need to attack the back. You know, if you get numbers, you've really got to attack a press and score easy baskets and make them take it off. Yeah, absolutely right. Eight and a half to go. And uh, Gomez has had to go to the bench with the four now. So starting bigs in with Ambrosio and Mingus for Angola. Let's see how they do. Cipriano bounce pass into the short corner. That's a pass which is wayward. Oh, keep your hands up. We almost got it here in the commentary booth. So good defensive stance by the Ivory Coast. Well, they've got a firm grasp on this one. They're up uh, six points. Lamizana kind of scoops a pass to Kanate. Kanate's three, that won't drop. Crowd uh, needed that one to fall. They want something to cheer for this crowd here. Just needs something to get them going. Stefan Kanate's often the man to do it. Ivory Coast in a 2-3 defense against Marais and Cipriano. We'll see how long they stay in this. Mingus in the short corner. Here's Marais C stopping the key. Ooh, Cipriano had an open look. Lamazana keeps it alive. He throws it to Zedevo. Diabate. There's a screen from oh, Lamazana. Diabate goes sideline. Extra pass to Kanate. Now, can Kanate knock it on three? He can't. Two of 15 for three for the Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. Great passing by Angola. Still they share it. Costa lets it fly, it won't drop. I thought about it too long. That's why I think Ang Ivory Coast have got to attack. They've got the three guards down the floor. Go no, before the bigs are back. Yeah, I think uh, maybe Diabate needs to inject a little bit more pace to try to get some decent looks for the Ivory Coast in transition. There's a foul against uh, Angola. It's on Mingus, that's his third. We took the balance of the team. So um, Ivory Coast go to a zone. What do Angola do? They bring in one of the best three-point shooters in the competition to just spot up and knock it down. Carlos Almeida in the game for Angola. Canate buried on the sideline. You know what, Angola, once you get to the sideline, they tend to keep you over there so you can't yeah. get back to the middle. Yeah, not just the man with the ball, the other guys as well, all five. Diabate to the basket, won't fall. I'm gonna see you the last guy to touch it. Brescia did a good job not to foul as well. He's got the three. We'd want him and Gomez to see this fourth out between the pair of them. Servo hands it back to Diabate. Diabate lets his three go. That draws iron. Well, it's just going to take a couple of baskets for the Ivory Ghost to get this crowd in it. They've had plenty of opportunities, really sputtering on offense. And, and Kola, you have to say, I've got the opportunity to put this game to bed here. I haven't taken it so far, though. Scored just one point in these four minutes at the start of the fourth. Here's Eddie. Eddie's going to let his three go. And that is wild. Aboyu getting ready to check in for the Ivory Coast. Zerbo holds his ground against Ambrosio. Ambrosio to Mingus. Mingus' shot to a fall. The long rebound ends up in the hands of Marais. I'm 
later. Bounce pass to Costa. Great ball moving to Mingus. Almeida wants it. Almeida off the mark. Still, Angola with another offensive rebound. And they can just start to take some precious seconds off the clock here. We approach the midway mark of the fourth and final quarter. There's Marais. Just lost the handle to Carlos Marais. He feels like he was fouled. I like this substitution from Angola, though. Reggie Moore coming in. He's struggling to score. He's a man we know can score. Very versatile, inside-outside type of guy. Uh, just another focal point, another little change. Wrinkle they can go to on the offensive end. Angola in man defense. It's Pop Amadou on the top for the Ivory Coast. Diabate will come to a wing. Diabate draws a foul. This one is on number 13, Almeida. His third foul. And the third team foul against Angola. Back to Diabate. Diabate to Lamizano. Lamizano rises. Morais makes sure it won't fall. Moore, the new man in the game, to the trailer. Morais. Reggie Moore going to hand it off to Armando Costa. Moore, well, he'll try his hand at a three and he knocks it down. And that's a big, big basket for Angola. And that's why it's a great sub. Moore. Pick and pop, hits the three. Nine points on three threes for him. Excuse me, 11 points. Went to the line as well. Look at this, forcing away from the screen again. I'm going to go with a show and go. I think Jonathan Carley would be a good substitution for the Ivory Coast. Shot batted by Lamizana. I just don't think Zerbo adds anything on offense for them, Lloyd. Yeah, it looks like Kone is going to come in for Zerbo right here. Travel. To travel. Coach Lascano wants another timeout. Costa on the ball for Angola. Here's Marais on the wing. He'll give it to Moore on the pick and pop. Moore, count it, Reggie Moore! It's a two, his foot's on the line. But he makes the lead 11 for Angola. Reggie Moore, the game's high scorer in just 10 minutes of court time. Into Kone, Kone baseline. He's bodied out of it. I thought he was fouled there as he was bodied out by Almeida. Yeah, he's gonna get set, yeah. yeah. I can understand Coach Lescano's frustration, though, Lloyd, because when the help side came around and closed on Kona, he really was bodied. You can see, though, that is uh, Coach Lescano's frustration there with a, as they've been suppressed completely on the Ivory Coast by Angola's defense. Sometimes these technicals can work for you. You get a rise out of your team, yeah. but I wonder if that's what Coach Lescano is trying to do. I know he's frustrated at the goal, but is, is, how bothered is he going to be about the tech? Is he going to try and inspire his team, get this crowd going? Because we see a lot of people just sitting on their hands now in the crowd. There's not a lot of cheering apart from the Angolan section. Here it is. That's the first body. And right there, you can see that I think Almeida is really sneaking in and taking the space of Kone as he goes off his feet. Marais, his runner, won't drop. Now, can the Ivory Coast score in transition? Here's Diabate. He'll kick it to Aboyo. Aboyo slides to the basket. He rises. It won't drop. And Kone slush won't drop. And that sums up the night as Marais dunks for Angola. And you wonder if that might be the basket that's going to break the back of the elephants. Kone is three. No good. Almeida with the rebound, and Coach Lascano wants his third and final timeout for the Ivory Coast.
Some of the fans, Lloyd, starting to leave the arena yeah. early. The Ivory Coast fans making their way to the exits. Here's a steal by Amagou. Might be early though, Amagou. He's fouled, count it. Let's kind of wipes off, wipes off the timeout. Still a long time to go in this game. I'm not sure if you should be heading to the exits quite yet. The Ivory Coast, you know, what an exceptional defensive team they are. They can turn you over. They've got to get up and extend the pressure here. Amagou makes the free throw and brings them to within 11. Going to a high tempo offense might help them. You know, being down like this because Amagou and Diabate can just attack immediately off the dribble. Not worry about passing the ball or running offense. Marais. Shot clock at 10. Marais is going to back Lamizana away from the basket. And Marais loses the ball. Lamizana picks it up to pass ahead to Diabate. Aboyo lets a three fly. It's not going to drop. Kone with the rebound and just lost it. Every coast have got fouls to give. There's one of them. This is the trouble being down against Angola. They're so good at running time, being smart, executing. Second personal foul on Amalu and the second team foul against the Ivory Coast. Angola in no hurry here as they want precious seconds to just tick away. They'll take their time. Shot clock now at five. Here's a steal by Kone. Doesn't have the speed to go past Marais. Lamizana spins in the lane, lays it up and in. Great steal by Kone. Nine points in and a minute and 15 to play. Moore slips the ball to Amagu. Kone goes to the basket. He misses the dunk. Well, Mohamed Kone misses the dunk. Almeida throws it to Ambrosio. Ambrosio goes up and lays it up and in. And I think that might be the basket which sees off the Ivory Coast. Amagu draws the foul against Marais. Exactly what Angola don't want to do. Lloyd, if you were to say that, if you were to tell Coach Lascano with a minute to play in the fourth quarter, Carlos Moraes would only have 10 points for Angola, he'd say, hey, we must be doing okay. But such is the testament to the teamwork of Angola. Yeah, he'd also tell you the uh, scoreboard's not incorrect again. He's actually got 13, so. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so Diabate, there's more. They're trying to foul. Amogu trying to foul. The referees, I've got to respect this. There's Almeida. Oh, too much time is off the clock for the Ivory Coast. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's a turnover. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Pop Amago was trying to foul Reggie Moore. The referees didn't give it to him. And Gola were almost surprised that the Ivory Coast didn't foul. And that's exactly what Angola don't want to do, is foul to stop the clock. Yeah. Amazon has got to make two now. It's four of eight, 50%, and this is well. We talked about the Ivory Coast, just 55% as a team. Yeah, they're shooting. Yeah. Always continue. Yeah, shooting has been their downfall. Two for 19 from three. And then also missed foul shots at crucial times. Lamizana makes one of two. Eight point game. There's Costa on the ball. Diabate pressuring the ball. And there's the foul. So Costa steps to the free throw line, just needs to make his free throws to continue the cushion. Oh, not yet. So it's only the third team foul on Ivory Coast, a big part. Ivory Coast still with fouls to give. There's a boy with the foul. Reggie Moore not exactly happy with his teammates. Almost like he said he doesn't want the ball. So 
Costa comes to accept it. Amagu defending, I beg your pardon, uh, Diamante defending the ball. Amagu leaves him for dead. There's too much time going off the clock. So Angola has just about got this one secured. We get a shout from their fans to our right here in La Pelle de Sport. Lord, you're going to think about who your man of the match is in this one. Costa free throw in and out. Time is on, leads all scorers for the Ivory Coast with 13. Costa makes one of two. Reggie Moore with 13, Carlos Moraes with 13 for Angola. Lamizan into the basket, lays it up and in. 11 seconds left in this one. Moraes catches it in the open court, and he goes by the baseline, he'll kick it to Alameda. Alameda to Costa, Costa to Moore. Moore sends a three on the way. And this one is over. Angola win it 66 to 59. They win by seven points.